Okay, so we're about ready to have ourselves a little battle. Um, I'm assuming the grey team are going to win because I spent most time, you know, gearing up those guys. Um, I've just tried to gear up these guys as much as I can. They're a little bit more spread out with the items because I spawned them all first and then just chucked all the items in. So, um, yes, there is the same number on either side. We've both got four horses. Um, I I'm rooting for the grey team, definitely. They've both got a king. That king's got a... a uh, a bone instead of a sword as you can see so he should have a little bit more damage than, than the others so without further ado let's get this battle on the go off you go my little minions <laughs> and this should be a right little battle and of course one of them is um, an exploding one so this should be an explosion at some point come on guys come on I don't know if you noticed there, but they've healed a couple of them, a couple of them have died and have been healed, so the grey guys are definitely on for a winner. You can see the one stuck over there, can you see him there? Oh, he got owned. He was stuck to the floor with the goo. What else is going on? What can we see happening? Well, the greens look like they're doing quite well, don't they? The greens look like they might be winning. I can see him over there chucking these little stones, can you see him? He's run out now, he's run out of stones. Oh no, he's still going, he's still going. <laughs> this is brilliant. The guy with the red... No, 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 it's just damage, isn't it? Yep. Oh, they're getting owned. I think the king's going down, the king's going down. He's off his horse. Of course, he had a diamond, so there's a there's a very, very fat high chance that he's going to die. Look, there's the, uh, the king's hat. Crown, I should say. The crown is there on the floor. Nobody gonna take over. It looks like the greys are definitely winning. All the greens are getting their asses kicked. There's only a few left. Nobody's gonna claim that crown. Oh yeah, you can't beat that king. Look at him. He's lost his armor. He still gets crown on, but he's definitely still got his diamond. His diamond makes him rather strong. Come on. Only two greens left. Come on, guys. You can do it. You can do it. I think. I think that's it. Oh no, there's one left. He just picked up the crown. He's still there. Nobody seems to have noticed. <laughs> there we go, he's kicking him off, he's kicking off. Get in there. Oh, he knocked him off his horse. It's king versus king. <laughs> oh, and he's down, he's dead. I think they're all dead. Whoa, and there you go, oh my god. There goes the explosive one. <laughs> and there's nobody left. Yay, that was great. Now we're not quite done there, uh, we've just moved over to the other one now because it's a bit more of an open space and I can just throw things out there. Uh, there's some more stuff that's been added in version 5 which wouldn't have been there until the 1.2.3 update so um, this time you can give them blaze rods and what the blaze rods will do is they will actually set fire to their enemy. So let's get a stack of blue guys and get them on the go. So what we're going to do is give these guys some blaze rods. Um, if I say, let's split them and give them sixteen blaze rods. They all should get a blaze rod each, and then we're going to get ourselves. Um, let's go for yellow. Get sixteen of these guys. They're just going to get lit up. Check. <laughs> So not only do they get beaten to death, they burn, and the other thing I wanted to show you is they turn into stone. Well, not stone, but brick. Most of them have. So if you check this out, let's have a look. So let's pick them up. Pick them all up. Do, 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 do. We've got ourselves a lot of brick soldiers. Brick dolls, as they call them here. And, um... What you can do with the brick guys is, because they're, they're dead now, uh, if you give some of your dudes, let's chuck these back guys back out, and if we give them some uh, gas tiers, so we need not that many, just need a few gas tiers, and what they will do is they'll bring them back to life, there we go, as a team member on their side, there we are. So if you had two opposing teams and you gave them all blaze rods and gas tiers, um, 
essentially one of the teams could end up bigger than the other because they, they just take them over which I think is an awesome awesome little addition okay next thing we want to check out is the blaze powder and what that can do destructive force that has so let's grab ourselves a stack of those chuck them out there and wait till we pick them all up check this out so blaze rods and blaze powders these poor guys I feel so sorry for them <laughs> I didn't even give them weapons see how quickly they're getting killed unbelievable even a few of the blue guys get die there because they're on fire there's not much we can do to save them it's so sad but there we are let's go and get those all collected up so the other cool thing you can do is you can get them to follow you around so when you're out in the open if you didn't have a pit like this to just keep them in is uh, all you do is you get um, the colour dye that is for their colour now there's a couple of things you can do with this is either you can let's go and stand in the corner so you can see how effective it is you can just hold it in your hand and they all come running check that out they're all attracted to their their own colour and the other thing you're available to do with this is if you chuck it on the floor they're attracted to it on the floor like that so you can actually group them all together and they'll just go run to that and they'll stay there get a few stragglers here and there well, there you go so that's an effective way of getting them to follow around or getting to stay in one place next thing we're going to check out is snowballs and fire charges so let's get these chucked on the floor and a bunch of snowballs let's get them all out there and then again the poor yellow guys they're gonna get their asses kicked but here we go let's put these down <laughs> and they have like a proper snowball fight check that out it's awesome so not only are they getting hit by fireballs they're also getting hit by snowballs <laughs> it's a proper little war I love this mod it's so much fun you can see how effective that is they're getting owned let's get some clay out there so they can do some healing heal your buddies there you go there's a lot of clay and what else do you want to give them give them a bunch of gas tears as well and then we can bring back some of the uh, the, the guys who turn into stone uh, brick even right, let's let them do that while we check out the next thing so the next couple of things we're going to check out is mushrooms. So what they can do with mushrooms is they can either heal, heal each other and heal friends, or they can use them to damage opponents. So let's chuck out a bunch of mushrooms and a coal as well. And the coal will actually <laughs> um, put longer burns on the poor yellow guys. They're going to get so owned. So not only they got the blaze rods and the blades uh, powder and all the other stuff that I've given to do with burning and um, they can also put coal on them which burns them for me even longer so let's let's put down some yellow dudes over let's put down a few there we go poor guys <laughs> kinda feel sorry for them not I'm getting their asses kicked the blues are definitely gonna win you can see a lot of action going on there Still quite a few um, casualties with the blues there, definitely. My god. But, yep, the yellows had no chance. They definitely had no chance. So let's leave them to go and revive their mates, which they are doing, as you can see. They're using the clay to revive their friends. And if you have, give them some more gas tears so they can bring back the other guys. And then we're on to the last few things that I wanted to check out. Hopefully you will download this mod and have as much fun with it as I did. So let's get this wrapped up pretty soon. So before we carry on, I want to just try and get this sorted out uh, with logs because they can do some pretty good building. It might take me a few takes, but I'm sure I can get it. So let's have one little dude and chuck down five logs. Now, what I was doing wrong before is I was throwing them out one at a time and you have to actually um, put them out as a stack. So, let's start with five. That's more like it. And then, oh, he managed to kill himself. Well done. <laughs> so that's what you get from five logs. So let's break that up. Do, 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 do. 
sorry man, you know, all your hard work going to waste. Make sure I'm only putting one of these dudes down. Don't kill yourself this time. Here's ten, and hopefully he'll build. Yay! One made out of ten, and yeah, there's the entrance, so you'll notice it's only one block high because it only needs to be for them. Uh, if you break it, break it open, there's not much in there. But the next one, that's made out of 20, is much more interesting. And if you can just break this up, so we've got the space for it. Here we go, little dude. I have 20, and hopefully he will go straight off and build um, his little fort with 20. There we go. Go on, you know you want to. Sometimes they'll just build a little one. Hey, did it! So this is like a little mini fort. Check this out. Oh, well done. I think the door's on that side. <laughs> oh no, there it is. And you'll notice he's come out with a little uh, stick. That's because there's a chest in here which has a bunch of sticks in it. How cool is that? And you got them upstairs, I'll have to break a little bit off. But look at this, it's like a little fort. That's what I failed at showing you before, and um, so there you go, that's what happens when you give them wood. So it's 5, 10 and 20 um, for them to build their own little forts. So there you have it. Alright, so in this bit, this is all to do with water, and obviously these guys will just sink like a stone. They don't drown, but they will sink. So let's put down a load of these cyan colour dudes. There's two stacks of cyans, and uh, yeah, see that they just sink. And what you can do is you can give them lily pads and they will use those to swim. Yay, look at that. And then you can actually give them um, a mount, a turtle swimming mount. So let's dump down a lot of those. Uh, two stacks of those will do. I think we need a few more lily pads down there for them. There we are. Um, probably a few more. Come on. Right, and they are going to fight with the pinks who I'm going to put over here and it's going to be, they're going to be fighting straight away so let's put down two stacks of them and two stacks of the pinks move on, move, 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 there we go and they're going to get straight in there, they're off already vicious little buggers they are let's um, drop down a lot of the pads for them so they can actually do some proper fighting <laughs> I, I, I love this mod, it's so cool so they're all fighting under the water. Come on, guys, get get the lily pads. They're just too too preoccupied with fighting. <laughs> I love it. It's just so much fun. There's a few things that I have missed out on on the mod. Um, you can give them cookies, and there's a few other items that you can use. But um, you know, you guys can figure that out for yourselves. I don't need to show them, show you how that works. Um, this mod's so much fun that you're gonna be playing with it for ages. And there is just one last thing that you've probably been seeing in my inventory for a while and thinking, what the hell is that all about? And it's called, well, let's just get it out. There we go. It's called a clay disruptor. And what this will do is it will send all of them back to their original state as they are in your inventory. The poor guy over there getting owned. And it's just a good way of collecting up all your clay men so you can just move them elsewhere. You know, if you're playing it in single player mode without... Um, too many items like I have or creative mode. So let's give this a whirl and you'll see what I'm talking about. There we are. They all immediately get stopped, whatever they're doing. It's only got a certain range. You see how those are still hopping around over there. Um, and that's it. You can just go and collect up all your dudes. So let's demonstrate that again with whoever's left over here. Good night, guys. Playtime's over. And there you are. They just pop into their original form and you can just go and collect them all up. So that has been the Clay Soldiers mod. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, I hope you will download it. It's very simple to install. Just follow the instructions on the page. The link is below as always. And don't forget to like and favourite. Thanks very much guys. Catch you next time.